Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding parent and child functions in DAX. So these functions manage data that is presented as child parent hierarchies. So why we need to use these functions? These functions are very helpful for creating RLS, dynamic RLS when you are having a parent child relationship. So parent child relationship means it will, it will be like a manager and employee and the subordinates of those people. So in a detail, it will be like, suppose you have an employee ID, thousand that is a manager, that is a head of the company. And under him, there are two managers, that is 1001 and 1002. And under these people, they are having four employees, two each, both managers. So if it is this case, and if you are having some security issues, and if you need to show certain reports to only the employees, which are 1002 manager, this second manager, we can use this path function and and all the related functions, path related functions to get all the details and we can create an RLS with respect to that. So he, here you can see, okay, thousand, he is having two persons under him. So that means, okay, thousand and one is having manager as thousand, thousand and two is having manager as thousand. That means thousand is having two people under him and thousand and three is under thousand and one, thousand and four is also under thousand and one. So that means the hierarchy goes like this. Thousand and five is having manager as thousand and two, thousand and six is having manager as thousand and two. Same thing. So thousand and two, that hierarchy is going like this, five and six. So the, this, with this, with the help of these functions, we can create certain values for this. So the first one is path. It returns a delete emitter text string with the identifiers of all the parents of the current identifier. So that means, okay, if you're giving this function and if you're creating a column with this function, you will be getting all these hierarchies. That means, okay, for 106, it will be showing which level it is coming. It is coming through 102 and for, for the first level, it is 100 and, I mean, 1000 and 1002 and then 1000. And so. so all these hierarchies, it will be showing in a customized way. So we will see, we will create the first one. We will select this and we will create the column and we will give the name as path itself. Path equals to path function and you can give the ID and that is employee ID and the parental ID is manager. So you can give the manager ID and that's it. And you can see all the details here. We can take it in a chart and we can see that you can copy this and you can paste it here and we can change the visual to table and we are selecting the path. We'll be able to see the path here. So for 1006, that is our employee in the last hierarchy is having 1002 as the manager ID and his path is 1000, 1002 and 1006. So it comes from the top 1000 and under 1002 and 1004, 1005, it will be 1000, 1002 and 1005. Same thing for 1003 also and 4 will be from the first hierarchy till the end. So the next one you can check is that we can check the length of the hierarchy. That means, okay, this 1006, the length will be 3. That is 1, 2, 3, 3 levels and 1002, it will be 2. So for that, the function to use will be path length. So that returns the number of parents to the specified item in a given path results, including itself. So we will take the column and we will we will create a new column and we will give it as length get to path length and we can give the path and that is the path you need. So you got the length of it. We can check it here itself. So this is the length. The first hierarchy is having one and 104 is having, that is the third hierarchy, one, two, three. So that is showing three. The same thing, 101, 1001 and 1002 is having, they are connected with the second hierarchy. So it is showing second. The next function which we can see is path contains. So it returns true with the specified item exists within the specific path. So if you are giving a 1002, it will show wherever 1002 is connected. That means here it is connected for 1005, it is connected and 1006, is, it is connected. So all these places, it will be showing true. That helps for a lots of things because whatever value with that comes under to 1002, you can give some security for that. So we can use that function also. Path contains. So we will give that. We will create a column and we will give it as contains equals to path contains. And we need to give the path. And this is the path name, column name. And then we need to give the item. Item should be given. And so we will give it as 100,001. So we will check for the those things occur. If you check it, the first one is not having 100,001. The second one, obviously, that is 1001. And then this 1003 and 1004 is having the same 1001. We will see, check it here. So if you check it here, so for 
1004 and 1003 also it is showing as true because their hierarchy the parent hierarchy is 1001 so with respect to that it is showing as true. so the next one another two more functions are that so the next one is path item it returns the item at the specific position from a string resulting from evaluation of the path function so we will check how it, it is been done we will create a column we will give it as item equals to path item and we can give the path and the next parameter is the position we can give the position any position we can give it as 2 or 3 or 1 we will give it as 2 and we will see what is the result so we give it give it as 2 and the first one there is no position in 2 and the second one from the starting it is taking it is taking the second position that is 1001 1002 and here also the middle value because that is the second position 1001 so we will check it here so the first one we have given it as 2 the second position for here is 1001 same whichever is the second position it is showing and it is showing actually we need to un- understand that it is showing from left to right so there is something called item reverse that will that will be showing from right to left. so we need to understand that. so we will take the next function itself that is path item reverse that is that you will be getting the path from right to left so here we got it from left to right now we will get it from from the end position to the starting position so we will check we will take the third one. third one means obviously it should come to 1000 everything so we will check it like that we will go to the column we will create a new column we will give it as item reverse equals to path item reverse and we can give the path and then we will give it as uh, three and we will check how it is it should it should actually start from right to left that means from 1006 1002 and 1000 this is 1 2 and 3 so every value should be thought we will check whether it is coming like that so it came like that wherever 3 wherever the length of the hierarchy is 3 it is taking it and giving it as the first value that is a thousand so it, everything with respect to the length only it will be calculating because here wherever 3 is there it is showing the result other places 3 is not there less than that it is not bothering at all so we will come here and we will give that also so here this much of places it is the length is 3 so all the places from right to left it is taking and it is showing the rest or we will be surprised why it is taking all why we need this path function and why we need all these functions so with respect to the row level security the dynamic row level security we can use it when there is a hierarchy of employees and if there is a problem statement that okay under these employees the reports and the pages should be shown we need to use all these path functions and we need to do the row level security for that reason it is been shown and it is been done so in another video we will be discussing about row level security with all these path functions so hope this was an interesting video have a nice day